The Christian Association of Nigeria, CAN, has said that it will petition international organizations to call the government to order and to be more serious in dealing with religious violence in Nigeria. The president of CAN, Samson Ayokunle, while reacting to the killing of Deborah Samuel, said that the government has not been proactive has not taken decisive action on cases of religious violence and the entire world needs to hear. Ayokunle said that since this was the first time the kind of happening in Ayokunle said that since that was the first time such was happening, there was a need to appeal to the international communities and organizations to help Nigeria and Nigerian Christians. Meanwhile, speaking on our political program Plus Politics, Reverend Joseph Hayab said that the country cannot afford as a nation to be tossed to and fro by different religious beliefs, as they must always be they must always go by what is written in the country's constitution, one of which is that no man is permitted to take the life of another, come what may. Whole lot of argument without clarity. Because uh, when you listen to others, they will say there's nowhere in the Quran that says you should kill. But when you listen to others, they will say, no, there's a justification for you to kill, but you are not going to kill, you are going to allow a particular authority to kill. So because of this divided idea, what I believe is that Nigeria is a secular state, and Nigeria must be ruled by the Constitution of Nigeria. There's no place in the Constitution of Nigeria that empowers another person to kill another person. In 2000, why did Christians in northern Nigeria, and specifically in Kaduna, reject Sharia? This is one of the reasons. Because we know that there are excesses about it, and we just wanted to be sure we are protected. Mm. Even with those arguments, where are we now? We've still lost a lot of people. So many of our children, so many of our husbands, so many of our wives have been killed under accusation that they blasphemy the prophet or they desecrated the Quran. What we are simply saying is that if we begin to look at blasphemy and desecration, then this country will never know peace. Because you started by talking about the president's speech. Have you really listened to what the president said? The president said, and I quote, that even Jesus Christ is a prophet. For me, a Christian, calling Jesus Christ a prophet is blasphemy because it's ignorant. Jesus is not a prophet to me as a Christian. So, but you see, we tolerate this thing. We understand this thing. We don't care about who said it. But we, the moment it comes to the other angle, then our children are being killed. Our families are under attack. I think we really need to sit and talk about what makes us Nigeria. Are we Nigerians by the Constitution of the Republic of Nigeria or we are Nigerians by the dictate of a particular religion or a particular section? Unless we honestly discuss this, we will continue to have this challenge over and over because it is our daughter today we are crying. Tomorrow it may be another person's daughter from another part of Nigeria and the cry will go that way and this will continue. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.